Today we're taking houses in Minecraft and flipping them. Well, not like flipping them over like that, but fixing them, okay? The first job is simple. This guy wants us to clean the first floor and add some furniture to the second floor. And we got a chest right here that'll help us do that. Okay, there we go. A bunch of stuff that we can use. Nice. So the first floor of your house is messy, huh? Okay, all right. Well, let me take a look at how bad. Oh, this is terrible. You know what? I'm not going to help you unless my viewers like and subscribe. I'm going to be waiting. Thank you. I bet the homeowner will be really glad you did that. Anyway, sir, ma'am, whatever your name is, let's get to cleaning. All right. I just realized I don't even have a vacuum. Like, all I have is shears. But I guess that'll work. This looks nice. Whoa. Look at this nice little patio. Pa patio? Oh, real nice. Oh, beautiful. Uh, can't fix that, sir. I'm sorry. Maybe don't put windows as walls, you idiot. <laughs> sorry, customer service first. That's what we believe in here at Craner Cleans Houses Incorporated. <laughs> That's my business. Here we go. Now the first floor is all nice and tidy. Now let's go look at what that second floor is missing. Everything, it would seem. That is a very tiny second floor. Okay, well, I guess I decide where things go. So, like, we can have the bed here. Oop. And one right there. Um, so now when you go up, you can just kind of go this way. You can also go... Never mind, you can't go that way. But if you want to go this way, you just got to step on your bed a little bit, sir. I would put the bookshelves back here. I think that's a really nice look. A little painting to go along so people know you're sophisticated. And of course, you're also gonna need something to sit on while you're reading books. I think the chest will go nicely in this corner. And the red carpet will be on the way to where the magic happens. Sleeping. I mean, we can also add some extra bookcases, but I kind of don't think that that's a good idea, sir. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these out. I know you ordered them, but, uh, well, now I'm gonna burn them with the jukebox. I'm gonna burn them with the crafting can't burn him. Uh, I'm gonna have to put this down somewhere, right? Uh, okay, music. Uh, I guess it would be nice with, like, some music in the corner. Sure. A crafting table. I wouldn't put on the second floor, sir. I'll put it here. Alright, you're just gonna have to deal with it. And the rest of the bookcases, I'll put like that. Alright, you're gonna miss two bookcases. Big deal. Wow! Brand spanking new house for you, sir, ma'am. I hope you enjoy it. Now, let's say that that is a job well done. Yes! Cut down the smallest trees, finish building my pool, build a diving board, and add a couple of sunbeds. And he's gonna take care of the water? Oh, that's a, that's a big job, sir. All right, so obviously, if we need to fix the pool, we're gonna have to fix up this stuff right here. He said he'll bring the water himself. There we go. I wouldn't go diving off of this thing, but he's probably not going to, right? The diving ball can go here, sir. We'll just add the slabs like that. There you go. Now you have a nice little diving board. Woo! Ow. So what trees is he talking about? These? He said only the small trees. There are, there are no small trees here. <laughs> Wait, sir. Ma'am. Sir, ma'am. Ma'am, sir. That's a big tree. Okay, so that's a big tree and the other two were small. I... I got it, I guess, kinda. Okay, sir. All right. Let's get rid of this tree then. Bam, bam, bam. Here we go. And I'll also get rid of this for you, sir, ma'am. Here we go. Nice. Now some tanning beds. Okay. Well, I guess like a tanning bed would just kind of be like that. And then like one over here. Maybe some on uh, which side? I guess I guess this looks kind of nice, right? Like that. Then he also gave me this, which I guess we can like put string on top of, maybe. <clears throat> yep, that'll do the trick. Now you have a little place for shade. As soon as I put on the uh... oh wait, let me get rid of that one. Well, it's not perfect, sir, but you kind of didn't give me enough to make it good. I would say that's a job well done once again. The best renovator in town, Craner. Okay, this guy's garden is flooded, right? So I need to fix the water holes, remove the water, and fill the holes with dirt. Okay. Bling. Blow. Now, where do I put the water? Sir? Eh? Am I supposed to literally just put down the coarse dirt? Is that... Is that it? 
Why do I have a water bucket then? Okay. Yo, this looks worse than before. Why? Why do you want me to do this? I am confused. Now you just have patches in your grass, bro. This is not how you fix a flood in the garden. But you know what? He's paying me for the job, so I might as well give it a go. There we go, sir. Nice and tidy. I'm running out of dirt. Last one. And then I also have a random water bucket. Do you want it, sir? Um, fixed. Nice. Hey, if he's a fish, he'll appreciate the entrance with the water. So he can breathe before he enters the house. House flipped. So this guy wants me to fix his outhouse. Okay. Uh, he's got a nice looking normal house. But yeah, I agree. There's some stuff missing around this place. Uh, it doesn't look like it's built properly. The wind is blowing southwest east bound. Yeah, this is not gonna hold up if you blow southwest bound east east north. So let's fix that for him. Ooh, he gave us a lot of tools this time around. This guy is really good. Okay, first thing I noticed missing, of course the... <laughs> of course the roof. <laughs> so uh, let's fix that for him. Nice. Second thing that's important in an outhouse is, of course, that we have windows. So these are missing. There we go. You're also missing a door, sir. I don't know if you noticed. Fix that for you. Now, this has, like, a thing holding up the roof, but this side doesn't. Whoever built this for you is not doing a very good job, but that's why you hire me. There we go. Now it'll definitely survive a storm, I think. And then he also wanted me to kind of decorate it. Uh, so we got barrels going. We got crafting tables and a chest. I mean, we can just have the crafting table here, chest on each side. The barrels can kind of go up against the wall here. We'll have a little carpet running through the outhouse. Add more chests here and the barrels there. Yeah, I mean, this is a good outhouse. You have a lot of storage room now. I would consider this house flipped. Oh, we're at a church now. Please help me fix the church. We need to get it ready for Sunday. What's missing on the church, sir? Not a whole lot of stuff, it seems. Is this the graveyard? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, the church outside looks like it's in a pristine condition. Uh, there's not much to change out here. And the graveyard is fine. I, don't, I really shouldn't just be jumping around on it like I was. But you know what? Yeah, I don't have an excuse for that, honestly. That's a bit disrespectful. Hello, church! What can I do you for? That looks fine. Wait, right, nope, that one right there. Now they're both there, that looks good. And it would appear that we're missing some uh, leaves. Okay, and over here. Now this all looks fine, down the aisle or whatever this is called. But what doesn't look fine is the condition of these seats. How do you expect anybody to sit here, sir? Let me fix that. Bah, bah. This one is also broken, and this one. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. You should be ashamed. Let's fix it. And here. Even these are also broken. Get your stuff together, man. And the last seat, right there. Now, every single seat in the service house is working. Uh, service house, church. What am I? English is not my first language, okay? I don't know if you figured that out yet. And we put that there. All right, church has officially been flipped. You know what? That one's on the house, sir. It's a church. I can't take money for that one. And the last job. We need to, what? Clean his kitchen and add some furniture to the bedroom and living room. Oh, jeez. Uh, so, we need to clean something first. And I think I spy what it is. The kitchen. All right, well, let's get rid of all of this. That'll be pretty easy to do. I got my vacuum cleaner 5000, also called scissors. And that should be it. All right, that's now cleaned. Now he said the living room and the bedroom. Which one is the living room and the bedroom, sir? Maybe it's upstairs. Hello? Is this the living room? This is the bedroom. This is definitely the bedroom. And this is the toilet. He didn't say anything about the toilet. So let's just start renovating here. I mean, that'll look pretty good, right? First of all, I'm noticing that there's a flower missing up here. Can't have that happen. We need flowers in both putts. There we go, that looks better. And I also think you should have a flower here, eh? honestly. Look, that's way better. The torch can always be right here. You can turn that off and on when you go to bed. Honestly, I wouldn't do much more to this place. Maybe add like this. I think that looks quite nice. Over here as well. 
All right. And I'm guessing this would be the living room, right? I think so. But there's also a third story. What? What? Wait. There's another bedroom. Ah! Which one do I fix, sir? You haven't given me instructions. All right, well, I'll put a TV here for you, sir. This is your flat screen TV. Slightly off the wall, but that's very modern. I wouldn't worry about that. We can also extend the couch. I mean, you have a giant home. Let's make it a longer couch. And there we go. You now have a longer couch. I think that looks quite nice, sir. Surround this as well, just to add some extra fanciness around it. Over here. I think that looks quite good. I think this is pretty much good to go, sir. Yes, your mansion has officially been flipped. Let's escape before he found out it didn't do anything. This was too big of a job, guys. Anyway, while I'm running away from the mansion owner, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and check out these two videos for more stuff.